What's up, guys? It's Dr. 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 Today, but it's survivalist. Now, first off, let me explain why I have not made a video in a long time. It's not a long time. I've been really busy at work, really busy with life, like actual like life things. And also, I have not been recording lately because I've been more streaming on my Twitch channel. Ah, uh, on my Twitch channel, so actually like making videos. So I kind of like abuse. The Twitch is really fun, and you can actually see me go live on Twitch in the description down below if you want to go check it out and see there. It's we do have a really fun time. I play like a lot of Roblox or even like Five Nights at Freddy's on there. See me get like jump scare like right off the bat. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, thirsty. Anyway, but I go with here today. We're playing Survivalist. Survivalist is a fun like zombie. Uh, RPG survival kind of game made by a guy called Bob M. Yeah. And I already have, uh, I've been playing this for about a while now. I don't know how long I've been playing it, for several hours. It's really fun. You, what you see right here, these are the three main characters. This is Joe Wheeler, Isham Seely, and then like, uh, what's her face like? I don't know. Uh, but she has like type 1 diabetes, and you actually see her live by using her insulin. And there's only a limited amount of insulin you have, and I already managed to get every bit of insulin in the game you can. So now we're just counting down the days of when she should die, because she won't have enough insulin to keep her alive. Ah, oh, sorry, so thirsty. Anyways, uh, let's go into the game. Loading day 34, that's what day I'm on. And I am in Fort, uh, Frick, what's this place called? Ah, oh, sorry, that was my phone, I was going to say that. Uh, Fort Kahoy. And what you see, all these green dots are people that are mine. This is Joe Wheeler, like the main character. I play as him a lot. And this is like other people in my group. We are called the survivalists. As you can see, like Seth Plummer survivalists. And then right there, you see like what all they have on them. And and here's my actual base right here. It's not very big. It's not you know fancy fancy. But it gets stuff in it. Literally, we have a. Oh, sorry, Twitch crash. But it, it manages. It's really good. I'm thinking of moving, like, right here. Because I saw on the uh, Survivalist Wiki page, or, like, fan base, this, this is actually a good place. I see some of my sub camp here. And, like, they're surrounded by, like, these giant walls with, like, this canyon stuff, which you can't get past. Like, this brown stuff. And, like, you can easily, like, just defend from, like, right here. It looks really good, so I was going to just plan on doing that. And, uh, ba -da -ba -da. but yeah, here's like Santa Marvina. They're, they're like a religious group and stuff. They're pretty cool dudes. And then here's uh, Jim Wang, Jim Galanger. And he's like here all by himself trying to recreate the human like space and stuff, whatever. Over here was the Night of Purity. There were a bunch of douchebags that kidnapped our own people. Uh, there's Fort Kahui. And then here is huh, the McCoys and the Fat Neils. Which is like a reference to the, uh, like the, you know, like the, like, uh, like the McCoys and the O'Neills or something like that that was in America. They had like this giant family feud. That's what's going on here, but it's like a restaurant. Like there's a McCoys restaurant and there's the Fat Neils restaurant. And, yeah, they used to are like versus each other and willing to kill each other. And then, uh, we have our group up here called the Los Creos, which is the biggest group in the game. And from what I've seen, uh, we got to fight every single person here. Like, all these little dots represent some, like, represent one person. Unless people are in, like, a shack or, like, a house, and there's two people right there. And, yeah. And I got some kind of Go to Rocky Area now. Where the escape criminals are said to be hiding. Okay. So there's obviously some criminals there, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh. Oh, yeah, and this is how I complete the game. Uh, yeah. And also, you had the option to choose how you wanted to complete the game. 
Like with power, love, or wealth. And I chose power. Recruit at least 80% of survivors in the area to your community. And look how close I am to getting 80% of everybody in the whole area. Which means I'm going to have to build like a really, really, really big place. And here's just like the list of like everyone I have inside my community. And right here they'll tell you like cross plan, which means like you need to feed your people. And like I so far I plant sixty cross and they recommend I need twenty nine to feed everybody, which I don't ever bother that. I just let my farmers do like their thing. Like Nate. I even have a list. Right here. Uh, with everybody's names and their good abilities. Like, at the top, there's Joe Wheeler, Alice Ivers, Isham Seeley. Like, Joe Wheeler, he's the leader. Alice Ivers, it's just, that's her name, Alice Ivers. Oh, let me do that. So, yeah, she's our combat medic, our runner, and our fighter because of her good fitness, firearms, and defense. And, actually, she needs, this is the lady that ha needs insulin to live. And where is she at? She's sleeping inside a bunk with mod. She needs to sleep. And, oh my gosh. Joe, you need to sleep. Yeah. I'm so hungry. Anyway. Uh, and also, in the game, you have to just survive the apocalypse. And basically, how it began was. Uh, you were. You are Joe Wheeler, I guess, but you can play as anybody you want. Sorry, I'm so thirsty. And when the apocalypse broke out, Joe Wheeler himself, he ran into a small bunker. That is Seth Farmer. Yeah, that's Seth. Joe Wheeler, he ran into. Uh, he ran into his like little bunker to hide away from the to hide away from the infection. He hid there for over a year. He came out. And he was like, "All right, I gotta go find food and stuff." And then he meets Alice Ivers, and they're like, oh, thank you for meeting me. And I had to kill her sister because she took me to him. And she's like, oh, boo, hoo, hoo, hoo. And then I met Isham because I was like, oh, I need insulin to live, and we need to go to the pharmacy. She was like, all right, let's go to the pharmacy. And we met Isham there, and he was like, you guys are a bunch of losers. I'm like, oh, I'm just need insulin. No, yeah, here's like the little farm area. Here's like our old, like our store with the stuff inside here. And there's Connie Reed, which is part of the Reed family. Uh, I, I only killed them because they had shotguns in like very early in the game. Oh. Oops. I made everyone go. Sorry about that, everyone. I'm storing bunkers. Bunkers. Do that. Uh, storing bunkers. Storing coal in the bunker. Storing bandages. Bandages go inside our like medical shack, which I just like this. Like this has all like, all the medical supplies and stuff. And what you see right here is uh, the zombies. There are I read four different zombie types. There are green strain, blue strain, red strain, and then white strain. The green strain are like the weakest of all the zombies. And if you get bit by a green strain, you got about like a like a few days or about a week to live. All you gotta do is just inject yourself with this antigen, which will like cure you of not turning into a zombie. Oh. And then the blue strain is like level two of zombies. And you have like about a day to get like blue strain antigen before you turn into a blue strain zombie. And then red strain, which is where <laughs> I get scared because I hate red strain and white strain because they're the toughest of the bunch. Red strain is like level 3. If you get bit by a red strain, you have like a couple of minutes to get a red strain antigen ready. And then a white strain? So far, I've seen no cure of a white strain. And also, if you get bit by a white strain, you turn into a zombie in like 5 seconds. Like, shut Like, you just turn into a zombie. And I seen that happen. Oh, whatever that crap was. But anyway, I've been playing this for a while now. 
And you start off with just like inside this like little shack, this little bunker that Joe Wheeler's been hiding in. Uh, what are you doing, Mike? What, you, what, what is your job? You're hungry, sir. Oh, wait, Joe Wheeler, he needs to sleep. Uh, Joe. Go to sleep. Alice, our diabetic girl, she needs to sleep anyway. Uh, da -da 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 -da, my baby. Gotta go get some food outside the barn. And the barn will restore like a bunch of our food. We had, we had like 400 years of Also, what you see right here, these are like like little things, and like you see how like the line that I was saying you see there's like white dashes in between each one. And this means in days till death, which means you can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days without eating. You can go two days without drinking. You can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days without sleeping. And it appears like there's stats and stuff. <laughs> You know, fitness, which means running and stuff. Firearms, which means shooting. Construction means building. Farming means farming. Medicine means healing and stuff. And Mike Day, he's a... Uh, what do I have him set at? Mike, Mike. He's a runner and a fighter. So, which means he goes out and gets supplies for us. Bring it back here. Oh, yeah, there's Tom. Tom, uh, him... Tom Fembers, he's a runner and a builder, so he's, right now, he's delivering supplies. Let's see what supplies he's delivering. Chicken wire. Oh yeah, I remember. I made, oh no, 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 right. I did not make that. Uh, map. Where was, where were they going? They were going, like, over here to get chicken wire and stuff. Bring home chicken wire. There we go. Oh. And I'll go back to him. And I'll actually go ahead and use him. Scout out this new area where I want to. Oh, someone's under attack. Uh, who did you get attacked by? He's attacked by a free stream, which means they're like, like the weakest of the bunch. So he would have been just. Uh, now I gotta go back. I will use my day to scout out the area where I'm planning to build our viewer base. Which is like right here. Hoping. And I'll just go ahead and do a quick save. Come back. Because <laughs> I don't want anybody in my community to die. And I'll just check out the whole area, make sure there's Aryan zombies in your house. Oh, I heard something. They ain't nothing. They ain't doing no harm. Well, actually, they do. They do do harm, but I kill them because they suck. And looks like there was only that one zombie on there. Ah, very good. Alright. Now we can easily just like move right into this little area right here and say welcome home. We can use this like as a front door and stuff. Use this like as a second front door and stuff. Like a second line of fence like right here. Like use like a little fence line going across here. A fence line going across there. <laughs> oh, and, and then a fence line going across. Oh yeah, and Alice Ivor's sister, she was a red string, which is, which, at the beginning of the game, you like have no firearm skills, so it takes like a hundred bullets to kill her, which is stupid. Uh, and she was like right inside this water tower, yeah, there she is, Rosetta Ivor's red string. And yeah, you can tell like, what kind of zombies they are, they'll say like their name, well, it won't say the name, but it'll say like, stranger, or something like that. They'll say, like, you know, a green chain, blue chain, 
Red strike, red strike. We all strike red strike. Anyway. Uh up 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 up. What kind of quest can you find out there? Let's see, talking about this in the quest. Uh yeah, I, I kinda wanna hold off on this mission for right now because I heard you're gonna I don't know, I haven't heard, I'm just saying that. Speaking words. But Los Krios will attack you. I don't know how or like when. <clears throat> but I don't want them to attack me like right now. I really don't. It's scary. Who are you? Rom. Rom, what do I have you as? A builder and a farmer. What are you doing? Oh, he just got done building that second watchtower. Good job, you Rom. Wow. No, why don't you tag along with Mike? Follow me. Uh, ba up, ba up, up. Let's see if we can just find eight. Like, eight? Nate? Nate, what are you said? Farmer and a builder. Uh, we have, I have, yeah, Haram as a builder and a farmer. Oh, no, I have Haram as a builder and a farmer. This guy ain't no spire. He's a farmer. Oh, man, I can't change him now. I need him as a farmer. Because he doesn't have good firearm or fit skills. He sucks at both. So I have him as a builder and a farmer. Because those are his best skills. Well, snap. Huh. Uh, oh, god dang Why did I take everybody out? Oh, that's Isha. He's our builder, fighter, and our farmer. He's actually kind of tired, so. The bunker. Uh, we got Kathy Star, which is our da 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 fighter and our runner. Yeah, she's a fighter and a runner because yeah, she's tired too, so she's gonna go back to sleep. And then here's Al. What? This is Alice. Yeah, she's our combat man fighter and runner. She needs sleep because she's tired. Must have sleep. Where'd Joe Wheeler go? Oh, yeah. Very good. And Bridget. Oh, I don't know why I press that. Oh, she's a tower guard in our fighter. So. Yeah, she can stay there. Too. Good job, Bridget. You're okay by that coming in this way. Haram, what can you build now for us, buddy? Oh, why don't you go ahead? And start up. Oh, you can go ahead and like start to build like our second outpost here. Uh, uh build. Is that a wire fence going from like. Uh, right, right. Where does the fence go? It can go like right. Now we can just put the fence gate like right there. So which means up. Put fence there, there, and there. There, 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 there. All right, now Rom will go get some chicken wire, and he will go build those fences. Uh, Augustine, what's up, Augustine? He's our strict farmer. He's used for nothing else. Because I like to see him as an old man. He doesn't need to go out fighting now. Because he doesn't want. What if he just wants to, you know, sit down and, you know, just enjoy life? Oh, yeah, and also right here is, like, like a quick list of, like, everything we got that's important. Like, here's gold, which is actually currency. No, we don't use money anymore. We use gold as currency. Uh, insulin for Alice. Uh, we got our food, which are. Here's our corn, camp food, and ships. And we got our building supplies right there. Like wood planks, chicken wire, stuff. And. Wrong. You're not wrong. You're Mike. Oh, yeah, Mike. What were you? Like a runner and a fighter. Mike. Why don't you go ahead off. Why don't you go ahead. 
And where's some more chicken bones? Oh, here's definitely a lot more chicken bones. Oh, no, no, no. I just want chicken bones. Lots of chicken bones. Oh. There we go. All right, now Mike will go over to the house, grab as much chicken as he can carry, and come home. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. Thumbs up. Four bots off the cocktail. Oh crap. Pew! Also, I'll go ahead and just like look at achievements real quick. Uh, but up. Uh, yeah, here's some achievements what I got so far. Yeah. Kill 10 zombies like giving him a headshot. And this. Take down a white train fighter with a single shot to the head. Press a sniper rifle and a firearm skill to level 5. I actually got that completely by accident, because I was clear in this town of, like, there were, like, full white strings, so I just, like, took a fight, took a shot, and, huh, I got an achievement. Oh, yeah, there's too many of them out there. Build a fence around your bunker cells, completely enclosed. I did that, that was easy. Now, uh, get maximum respect of Joe Wheeler, uh, maximum character's opinion, which is, you know, like, like, respect and, like, they love them and stuff. Uh, and I have no choice. Recruit lure to your community. Yeah, which means, like, you go out and fight people. And, like, the last one will go live, like, please don't kill me. I'm sorry. I don't want to do it again. It's like, you'll work for me now. It's like, I guess I have no choice. Uh, persuasive recruit a member of Fort Cahoy to your community, which was easy. They met people out of Egypt. Recruit people to Central Market to your community, which was easy. Make them all scoff cocktail, which was easy. Make them family, which was easy. Right now, always like and return to anything. Yeah, she was a zombie and anti Abe. Uh, oh yeah, the Forgotten Heist. I found that. That was pretty cool. I had like four hundred dollars and a saw rifle on my backpack, which was huh, a, and a pile of now worthless cash. Uh, the brain scanner, which was pretty cool. Uh, spoilers. Oh uh, yeah, find all the insulin in the area and give it to Abe. These are sixty-two doses. Uh, every single one of them. Oh, and this one. Free Bridget Cassidy without giving the kidnappers any rent money or gifts required to deliver. Which, huh, it actually required, it actually didn't get cleverness. Like, I didn't need it, because what I did, oh, because uh, Bridget, she was a uh, prisoner of the uh, Knights of Purity, which are, which were these people over here. She was, like, trapped inside this, like, little bunker thing right there. And, like, what I did was, I got, like, this big group of our people. I got, like, about seven of our people. And I was finally like, all right, I'm just going to go in. I'm just going to charge them and kill everybody I see. But luck was on my side. There was, like, a zombie right here. This guy shot. And he had only a pistol, so he couldn't deal with, like, much damage or kill him. So everyone was like, oh, man, we got to go help and kill the zombie. So they all ran out the front door and helped kill that zombie. I was like, oh, my God. And all of a sudden, I, so they're all coming back inside. I got me and my entire group inside the bunker. And, like, as they came back inside the front gates, I just unleashed my people to just, like, open fire inside their own compound. Like, my people were right here. And like, as they entered, I just, like, mowed them down. It was so great. Ah, oh, that's so cute. Oh. Oh, man, it was great. It was really good. It was so good. Uh, I wonder if there's any hidden chickens in here. Yep, there's some hidden chickens in here. Uh, oh, frick. The quest to the nah. Okay. What was I gonna do? What was I gonna do? Oh, excuse me. Why aren't you farming, bro? Joanna. Oh, Joanna is our doctor. She is, like, our freaking doctor. Look at her medicine. Yeah, I even have her Juana, doctor and our farmer. I cannot risk her being out there fighting bandits and zombies. Cause we need her. She is a doctor. She's just so cool. And we need her Juana. And also because her firearms are freaking sick. She's like, she can defend herself with a shotgun. And she also she got some strains in case somebody comes back and like, I'm a fighter, please help me. She's like, here! And like, just stabbing like the neck and stuff. Oh, 
Yes. And she's like a farmer, and I'm like, yeah. Uh, the water canteen. The farm. 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 Okay, don't farm. Fine, I don't care. Oh. Uh. Rain strain. Yeah, gold. Hey. Who says you want further? I'm so cray cray. Uh... Oh, I'm uh, here. Oh, I'm right here. It was a town like full of uh, no, this town, yeah. This town was full of white strength, which only like four people here. So. And also, yeah, I was on a Muskrav. I'm not gonna go tell, I'm not gonna say why. Anyway. Ha! Huh. I don't know if there's any more bandits, because I read. Also, there is something going on here. I know there's something going on here. Because, like, right here, there's these military vehicles. And I'm like, what? And also, this place right here had like freaking like military fortifications. This is like the front gate. I couldn't get past it. And like here's like a more of the walls, which I'm kind of afraid to go out there because it's just like creepy. It'd be scary. Oh, frick. Oh, wow. Look at all this stuff. Holy cow. What's this town? Oh, look at all the chicken wire and cement. Look at all this good stuff we can use. Oh my god. Oh, this is a gun store. Wow, there's a lot of good stuff here. Holy cow. Ooh. Charlie Cashman. Oh! Oh yeah, I won't say why he, his body is there. We forgot about him. Yeah, <laughs> rest in peace, Charlie. Oh man. Also, what the heck? Oh, yeah, that's that's it. That's where the cameras come in. So, uh, but up, up, but up, up. Here's Joe Wheeler, our main dude. Our main dude. Dude. Also, if Joe Wheeler dies, it's game over. So, yeah. You don't really want him to die. Because he's awesome. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, that was like just a quick like little look at Survivalist. Which is on Steam for only like five bucks. It's such a good game, and I can't believe it's only like five dollars for. I, I just can't believe that. It's a really good game. It's so fun. Anyway, this was like a just like a. What the heck? <laughs> Pressing spacebar. Anyway, that was a quick little, little go look at that was a quick look at uh, Survivalist. It's a really fun game. I definitely recommend it for people to play. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace.